Hello everybody, I'm Jay Barino. I am here again with a short Brood War video. This time I want to explain how you can very quickly and easily fix those wonky colors that come up when you play the original StarCraft on Windows 7. The issue has to do with something called Direct Draw, and you have to force StarCraft to use an older version of it. And to do that, you have to make a registry train... Regist registry change. Thank you for bearing with me there. So uh, I, went, I went ahead and I found it on uh, Battle.net. This is where uh, I found my the script that I ran as well. Uh, what you can do then is just come here. I'll put this link in the description and you can use this to copy paste. So if you follow the instructions, it's basically saying make sure that you're up to date with StarCraft. And to do that, you log into StarCraft, you log on Battle.net, you make an account and it will it will get your latest version for you. Following that, it's just you can just follow these instructions. It's very easy. You make a new text file and you copy in these code blocks. And you'll notice it says in the code box below, the first lines wrap around the second line. Don't let it do so in the file you're creating. So I'll, I'll show an example of that. So I have a 64-bit Windows, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy-paste this exactly into a text file. So we paste that. And what he means is this line right here. See how it's wrapped? You have to make that one line. Okay, that didn't do it. Are we just going to have to do this? Yes, exactly. So my window wasn't expanded enough. So you just make sure that this is one line. And if your notepad is smaller, it'll you know, it'll wrap your words. Just make sure that when it's expanded, it's one line. And then go ahead and save that anywhere. So I'll save it to my desktop, and we'll call it Brood War. And you have to save it as a registry file, .reg. And that's it. So then when you go in, you go to your desktop, and you find that file. So I'll pull this over here. And where is it? Where are you? Here it is, registration files. And then you just run that. That's it. You double click that, it'll make the registry changes and you're done. That's all it is. So I know some people might run like registry cleanups. If you run registry cleanups, it will undo this, I believe. And uh, basically what's happening as well, other, uh, it has to do it at its root cause with the direct draw thing. But if you were to disable explorer.exe as you opened up StarCraft, that would also fix it. Uh, but you want to make sure that that starts back up when you exit StarCraft. So there are a few scripts that some people have run. You can search for them on Battle.net as well that will kind of do that workaround. I kind of prefer the registry change. That, mean, that way I never have to worry about it again. I don't have to worry about ending the explorer.exe process or anything like this. Anyway, this worked for me. If this doesn't work for you, I really am not someone who can, who can help you there. I'm just letting you know that I followed this and it worked. So have at it. I, I think he made a note that it doesn't fix the funky colored water. But that's actually pretty minuscule compared to the bizarre neon colors that showed up all over the game. Anyway, uh, I'm hopeful that this helped. And I do plan on starting Brood War in about two weeks. Uh, my plan after Antioch Chronicles finishes, and it's going to be finishing on Friday, is to play Ariel and Eclipse. I am really, really excited. It is not complete, but Avondale reached out to me and he said, Hey, if you want to, you can play those uh, those six maps that are out. And I plan to, because I have been looking forward to those for so long. So I'm going to do that. That'll be about two weeks, and then we're going to be getting into StarCraft Brood War. I just wanted to be a little transparent about my uploading schedule, because I know a lot of people are excited about that. So you can be excited about Ariel and Eclipse, and then you can be excited about Insurrection slash Retribution, whichever one I haven't decided yet. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.